Okay, we're here at Comet Cart Sales, uh, looking at their Yamaha KT100 build program, and we're here with Mark. Uh, Mark, how long have you been here at Comet Cart Sales? I've been here like uh, 27 years. And how long have you been involved in cart racing? Uh, really, most of my adult life, probably since I was about 16 years old. We've been hearing in other parts of the country that the the Yamaha KT100 class is growing and very healthy in this part of the United States. Is that right? I, I think it is. I, I put that against what entries have been at our local club level races. Uh, it's just been steadily going up every year, it seems like. So why is, uh, what do you attribute that to? Why is the KT100 class growing and you're seeing more entries at the track? Well, it's probably the uh, most entry level engine package group that you can get in karting. And when you get a new racer in it and his buddy sees him running it, well, then it's just natural for him to get a Yamaha also. And for bang for the buck, you really can't beat the KT100 for the number of dollars spent versus the horsepower you get. Isn't that right? Oh, I totally agree with that. You can build one of these engines, uh, depending what is needed at the time of service, between four and $650 for a partial or a total rebuild. And that includes labor dyno time to make sure when we deliver the motor it's ready to go at full potential. Let's I'm going to pan down to this this Yamaha we've got right here. This is a uh, this is a KT100. It's got the four hole can on it, right? Yep. We call it a can because it looks like a can. Um, four holes, there's four exhaust outlet holes, kind of like in a 12-6, three and nine clock pattern. Okay. And this is nice for the sport because uh, it's spec. That's a rule made can. It's built purposely at certain sizes and dimensions. And uh, if you go to the tech barn, they actually measure the holes and different parts of this can to make sure it has not been tampered with. Okay. And what about the carburetor? Is the carburetor sort of a simple, simple thing too? Carburetor is like a lot of people see on uh, two cycle engines, maybe a chainsaw or a weed eater. Um, it's it's per, it's bigger than probably what you would see on a an outfit like that, but uh, it's so big due to uh, the size of the engine, and it's just get enough air in to make the horsepower needed. Okay. Now over here at Newcastle, the track that you guys are is, is sort of the sister organization to Comet Cart Sales. Uh, what kind of speeds can you see out of a a KT100 on a good car? Um, we have a uh, longer track than a lot of sprint style go-kart tracks are and at our track you're probably hitting 65 mile an hour pretty easily. And and for the money you just can't get a better motor than the the KT100 run that kind of speed can you? No you really can't I mean you can spend twice the money and go 10 mile an hour faster. Right but uh, and and you guys how old are the kids that start racing in the, the, the younger Yamaha classes? Okay, there's like um, three to four Yamaha divisions. Uh, at age eight, uh, seven to ten, we take this can engine and have a three-hole can. Okay. It's a little more of a restrictor. That slows the engine down for the youngest kids. Okay. Uh, eight to 12, they graduate into what's called junior sportsmen. Yamaha Junior Sportsman. Okay. Um, it's four hole can, again with the small carb and not quite as restricted. They go a little quicker. Okay. Um, you're probably in the 48 to 52 mile an hour with three hole. You probably jump up to an honest 50 to 55 mile an hour, top terminal speed with the Junior Sportsman four hole. And then we jump to this same engine package right here for age 12 to 16. Yes. Or 12 to 15 probably. Um, and again, you're going to achieve speeds of 60, 65 mile an hour at our track. Um, uh, then once the kid becomes 16 during that year, he is able to move into the adult class with the same engine package. Again, a good reason why this engine package is affordable in the sport, because for the cost of a carburetor, you can take your kid from elementary school to college with the same engine group. Yeah, that's amazing. And and and, it, and what you do is you just send it back here to car uh, to Comet for a rebuild once or twice a year, and you're good to, go, to keep racing. It is once or twice a year. We run 14 races a year on our KRA schedule, which is Kart Racers of America um, at Newcastle, and you're going to get so much time that you run the engine. Uh, we always ask our customers to keep track of the time on the engine. 
um, that's valuable for us to look for wear points in the engine. Uh, it shouldn't be wearing at that time limit, or if it isn't worn, it, everything's going good. So it lets us service the engine better. Um, you, so you take a brand new fresh engine at the beginning of the season, you get about half a season, you do a top end rebuild, and it finishes the season. Um, and then at the end of the year, hey, give it to me now. It gives me work to do in the wintertime, and when the snow melts, it's sitting here ready for you to pick it up. Exactly. So if, if people are interested in contacting Comet uh, to purchase a Yamaha or to have their Yamaha rebuilt, there, you guys have a website, correct? Yes, we do. It's CometCartSales.com. You can Google it, and um, it'll pop right up. Now, you guys also handle a number of different kinds of chassis, arrows, and a number of others, don't you? Yeah. I think we're kind of special in that re respect that we do sell certain brands of chassis, um, but as far as our engine package goes, if we're building a motor for you, I don't care. Brandon doesn't care. Comet Card Sales doesn't care what color your chassis is. Uh, we're here to help the carter and grow the sport. I hear that you guys are having 25 and 30 entries in your KT100 class out here at Newcastle. Uh, it's getting close to, to 25 to 30. Uh, well, I think we had 23 in seniors and 19 in, in masters. Great numbers. But in comparison, uh, local clubs lucky to have five or six. Right. And the numbers are going up from here. Yes, they are. I, I just, you know, we've got some guys that, uh, with their occupation, can't race until a certain time of the year gets here because of their job. And there's going to be three or four more coming just because of that. I mean, it's just life. Right. I really appreciate your time. Thanks for telling us about the KT100. You're welcome. Thank you.